feel? First round knockout. Uh, I felt great, you know. Um, it's something we expected in the camp. Uh, we trained hard for it, so um, it was something I was definitely looking for the whole fight. So uh, you know, it worked out well for us. Were you nervous going into the fight at all? Uh, absolutely, you know, every fight you're always nervous. I, I just tell myself it's more excitement than nerves, but um, yeah, I think I was a little bit extra nervous for this fight because, again, they made me wait so long before I could fight again after the last fight. And uh, I always fight better the more I fight, so if they give me a quick turnaround this time, I'll be more than happy. What was it like fighting in front of a crowd like that? Uh, it was unreal, you know, to, to fight here in Melbourne and uh, at Etihad Stadium was, it was phenomenal. So. Um, you know, it was a dream come true for me, and I'm proud to represent Australia in such a big uh, worldwide sport. You know, when you do it here, at this venue, in front of this crowd, you know, it's just amazing. You were pretty disappointed in Adelaide with your performance. We ran into you after the fight, you were pretty down and out about it. Do you see this as an opportunity to sort of show everybody that you're still in it and you're back and you still have a bright future in the division? Absolutely, you know. Um, after the Adelaide fight, you know, like I said, my, my timing was off, my distance was off, so that the first things I worked on as soon as I went back. Uh, I felt like my distance was good this time, my timing was good, and uh, it showed in the fight. You obviously come from a very, very good camp in Jackson, Winkle Johns. What did you focus on in particular for this fight? What did you do to make sure that we saw the best of Carl Noak here in Melbourne? I uh, also come from the BMF ranch as well, so to throw that yeah. one in there. The guys, <laughs> Cowboy and the guys out there. But, uh, you know, I worked on my takedown defense. Um, everybody that I fight always wants to take me down, so. Uh, for me, it was a no-brainer to work on that takedown defense with Jafari Veneer and uh, make sure my takedown was, defense was, was on point, and that's what I did. And then once I got so confident in my takedown defense, it allowed me to open up more on the striking, which just made Mr. Winkle John over the moon. Was, was that front kick something you worked on in training? Yeah, it was something we worked on, you know. Um, I hit a lot of people in training with him. We really liked the way it was going. So, uh, you know, when that opportunity opened up and I saw his liver there, I, I strike, you know, and um, that's something we worked on. As a teammate of Holly Horn, do you, do you train with her? You've seen her train. Are you confident she can pull off the upset this afternoon? Absolutely. You know, Holly's the ultimate professional and she trains her butt off. Um, she's a phenomenal athlete and, uh, you know, she has all the skills to beat Ronda. She's, she's a very good striker. She's been working so hard and everything else. You know, she, it's just, she, I think she's coming into her own now and I think we're going to see it tonight. Did you speak to her yesterday after the bit of an altercation at the Wayne? It didn't rattle her at all? No, not at all. You could see her at the way and she didn't even hardly move and Ronda got all up in her face and, and you know, uh, instigated that scuffle. But she was cool as a cucumber. Holly's been fighting for a long time and, and big shows, you know, so for her it was nothing. You mentioned you want to have a quick turnaround now to have a long layoff. Does anyone particularly want to fight next? No, I don't care who I fight. I never care who I fight. Just give me a name and I'll get in there and fight. In terms of time frames, obviously you had a long layoff uh, before your last fight in Adelaide. You've had a recently you know, decent turnaround. Do you want to get in the cage as soon as possible? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, my partner's actually having a baby in April, so if I can get three in before then, get a good, big <laughs> bit of money behind me for when the baby comes. So, yeah, I, I don't mind. I'll fight as much as they want me to. So ideally three fights before April 2016. Yeah, that'd be great. I'd love three fights before then. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, guys.